I'm standing outside of the Drexel University chapter of the Alpha Beta fraternity, where a mounting legal battle has begun between the brothers of this fraternity and the parents of one of its members. The parents of 21-year-old sophomore Teddy Shiver believe that their son has become far too intoxicated and is no longer able to party. Not so, say his fraternity brothers. They believe that Teddy can and will recover. They have banded together to help Teddy continue partying by inserting a beer bong into his throat. We all think Teddy's still, you know, partying. As long as he's partying, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure he can party as long as he can. Because that's what Teddy would want us to do. These dragons never say die! The Shivers are fighting Alpha Beta to have the tube removed from Teddy's throat. They've hired Jacob Wazinski, an expert right to party lawyer, to pursue the matter in court. Um, we, we have seen no evidence, medical or otherwise, that Theodore is still physically partying. Uh, now, his body may give the appearance of such, but it, it's more than likely that he's partied past the point of all recovery. Um, we believe the best case of action at this point would be to remove the beer bong tube and, and let him go to bed. Uh, for what I understand, uh, Theodore has soccer practice tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, the last thing we want is for all this to be in court and but if that's what they want to do, so, yeah. Oh, and Smitty's going to be our lawyer. Say something, Smitty. I have um, observed Teddy, and he is still clearly very much party. It's only 1.30, and uh, therefore, by removing the tube, you would be cutting his party and tragically, tragically short. But we, we just need to give him some Red Bull and some pizza crust and he'll be all right. Despite what the Shivers and other critics might say, the brothers here at Alpha Beta are confident that Teddy will, in due time, get his second wind. Until then, they will continue at any cost to fight for his right to party. At Drexel University, I'm Amy Watsumutsu reporting.